I'm Jim Burroway. I attended the Love One Out X Gay Conference in Phoenix in February of 2007. I went because Focus on the Family often invites gay activists to go to the conferences so that we could see for ourselves what they're all about. So I did. And he undertook the study and his, his colleagues criticized him. They thought that he was crazy. He did it. And he was able to find, and this was a published study, 2003, in the Archives of Sexual Behavior. Robert Spitzer was able to find 200 people, 150 men and 50 women, who shifted predominantly from homosexual, homosexuality to predominantly heterosexual, uh, heterosexuality, and, and maintained that change for, the, for five years. At the Love One Out conference, um, most of the conference was sort of religious in vain. It was sort of a, a, a kind of a revival meeting, not quite, but it was certainly religiously themed. But they did want to back up a lot of what they said with science. And um, to their credit, they didn't use any, uh, any what I would call junk science, like they didn't cite Paul Cameron or anybody like that. Um, but I did see several cases where they did take um, real, legitimate, and well-done science in many cases and tried to explain that it said something that it didn't really say. Um, they talked a lot about Robert Spitzer's 2003 study of, of um, ex-gays that found that some ex-gays uh, reported that they had changed their sexual orientation. Um, and, but they didn't really talk about degrees or, or you know, how, how successful that was or, or any of the, um, uh, or how common it was or, or in fact rare. They certainly didn't mention uh, Dr. Spitzer who often said that he thought it was extremely rare. At one point when he was really pressed to give, in the, you know, how rare, he just said maybe five or ten percent. He had no data to back that up, but it's just sort of an evident, you know, give you an instant, uh, an idea of how rare he thought it was. Um, they didn't mention, for example, that it took him um, close to a year and a half to find his 200 um, participants in his study, or that um, some two-thirds of it came directly from Exodus and Narth. And in fact, from what I understand, Alan Chambers was one of the study participants. He's now the president of Exodus. Um, his study did mention that quite a number of them, a, a very large percentage of them, spoke publicly against homosexuality in their churches, and so they really had a vested interest in saying that they had changed. None of that was in the discussion.